Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. This time I want to go over that I never thought of up until recently when somebody asked me what is the difference between Nmap and Zenmap and I was like, you know what, that's a good question because I have always used Nmap obviously I've used Zenmap but I didn't think of it as two different things or why one is better than the other so I want to go over uh, the differences and the similarities between Zenmap and Nmap and let's go over this uh, quick spreadsheet that I created and um, for starters Zenmap and Nmap are the same it just so happens that one of them Nmap is command based command line based and Zenmap is a graphical representation of Nmap so Zenmap uses Nmap in the background to collect whatever information you want to collect and it represents all that information in a graphical way so let me bring over this right here so this is the Nmap screen that you are familiar with and just a quick note if you are taking any security test most likely you're going to be tested on Nmap not Zenmap I don't even know why they do that but apparently they want you to know Nmap more than Zenmap and I agree that with Nmap you have more customizable scripts that you can run and you can customize your queries your searches in specific ways right you have more options when you use the command line but if you use Zenmap you can also perform certain searches but you're not going to have the same flexibility but at the same time if you're going to perform simple searches like a network scan for open ports or or hosts that are up and running uh, it may be easier to use Zenmap if you know that that's just a regular scan you're not trying to evade any intrusion detection systems or anything like that or you're not running anything specific you could do that and one of the things I like about Zenmap is that it shows you the uh, topology of your network or the topology of, of uh, what you're doing performing so let's go over this real quick so Nmap Network Mapper, a powerful command line tool. That's all you need to know. Zenmap is the graphical user interface for Nmap. That is the difference right there. The advantages of Nmap, highly customizable, absolutely. Supports scripts, automations, lightweight, and has a broad community support. That is true, especially when it comes to highly customizable. You can customize your searches very specifically to what you're looking for. Uh, Zenmap it says that it's beginner friendly you know there is like this type of arrogance sometimes when experienced system engineers or security engineers that if you use Zenmap you don't know your command line hey listen whatever works for you whatever make your life easier whatever you find useful to perform successfully the task you need to perform use that tool but with Zenmap, it says beginner friendly offers network vis visualization. That is true. And it, it, it is a good network visualization. It provides a good alternative to Nmap. Disadvantages of Nmap steeper learning curve. Yes, because look, when it comes to Nmap, you know, it's not that difficult to learn because once you are familiar with the syntax, with the basic syntax, you can just come here to the help menu and you know find what you're looking for and use it I mean it's not rocket science but yes you do have to be familiar with command line to do that uh, unlike um, Zenmap that you can select the pre-built customizable profiles right not suitable for automations and resource intense yes it is resource intense on your system for sure uh, because it's gonna, pro it's gonna um, process a lot of uh, graphics uh, the best use case, professional penetration testing, complex network scans. I would say that it doesn't matter if you're professional pen testing or not. Uh, complex network scans, definitely, because it's super customizable and you can uh, use automated security workflows. And with Zenmap, 
quick and easy network scan for less technical users, visualizing network topology, so on and so forth. So that is the difference. So again, so if you want to do, for instance, if you come here to um, ZenMap, you are going to see that you have your uh, menu in, under the scan. You're going to be able to save the scans to your preferred location, but it's going to be saved as an XML, I believe. You're not going to have the customizable options that you have when using Nmap from the command line. That you can make it, you can make it grapeable, and you can uh, use different uh, formats that you can save it. Uh, you have different profiles that you can create for this for you. And then from here, you're going to have the pre-built profiles that you have. For instance, you see, this is the uh, intense scan. But if you just want a quick scan, you're going, it's going to change that to minus F, which is the same thing that you would do here from the command line if you are into changing the uh, type of uh, scans that you're running. And from here, let's do... Um, scanme.org, which is that host that Nmap allows us to scan. And when you do that, just click on scan. And that's going to go through the same process that it would go here. Because remember, Nmap is working in the background to show you the graphical representation here in Zenmap. What I like about it, and maybe this is why they're saying that it's more suitable for beginners, is that if you pay attention to these tabs, you're going to see the ports and hosts categorized, right? In this case, I'm just scanning one specific host. But if I were scanning a segment or a range of hosts, you will see all hosts in here. And under, when you click on the host, you're going to see the specific port for the host. Uh, the other thing that is um, good, at least for me, is service identification. As you can see here, it's very simple to see the services that are identified in the topology is, you know, from this case, from the local host, how many uh, hubs I'm going through between me and the remote computer. But if you are scanning a network, you're going to see a multiple of hosts, like little dots. And when you click on that, it's going to show the representation between one and the other. It's super useful. It's uh, something uh, probably that you would like to use in presentations if you want to show, uh, you know, the network scan to somebody and you, you want it to make it look pretty. That's pretty much it. Uh, the host details is going to show you information about the host. As you could see, this is in reference to my specific host. If you have multiple hosts, every time that you click on one, you're going to have a different results. And it's going to show you a... Um, a, uh, a, an idea of how difficult that host is to uh, to crack, right? Or how vulnerable a host is. In this case, you know, this host does not show like it's vulnerable, does not have any major vulnerabilities. But if it did, you will see like a little ticking bomb here with a wig burning, right? That's a sign that, oh my God, this is a bomb. It, it, it doesn't, it's going to take much for you to um, to to do that, to, to break into that host. And then from a scan, you're going to see this scan that was performed. This is the same thing. If you type this command here in the command line, you're going to get the same results. It's just that the graphical representation is going to be different, of course. And then you're going to see the services that were open for this host. And as you could see, you could see the individual services and it's going to show the ports. Uh, so on and so forth right there. So, and the last thing that I want to mention here on, on ZenMap is that you can save them. You can save your reports. You know, you can click on Save Scan, right? And I'm going to save it as Scan 1. And the default location is, it is in the Enmap folder, but I'm going to save it in the desktop. And where is my Save button? Here it is. And when you save it and you close, you can reference uh, that scan, right? Where, where did it go? Uh, let me uh, refresh. Do, 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 do. Uh, here it is. So as you could see, this is my saved scan, saved as an XML. It's going to open with uh, Microsoft Edge. But when you do that, that's going to show you the results of that specific scan if Microsoft decides to
to work, of course. Well, there seems to be an issue with the XML file in uh, in the web browser. I tried on Chrome and it didn't open. But anyway, so that's a simple report or the results of the uh, output, the results of the command you ran. It's not even a report. It's just the results of it in a graphical way. The other thing that you can do, like in this case, I can open it in Notepad++ and you're going to be able to see that in a different way. So um, this is it. Again, I just wanted to go over the main differences, benefits, the pros and cons of Nmap versus Zenmap. When it comes to it, I prefer to use Nmap just because I'm so used to using it. And most of the time when I use my uh, Linux distros, they don't have Zenmap installed by default. Whereas if you install Nmap, on Windows, it automatically installs ZenMap, but Nmap is, you know, installed on most Kali distros by default. So that's why I'm so used to it, but I don't have any shame in using ZenMap if that's what I have available or if that makes my life easier. Again, as always, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate that you come here to collect information and maybe get some answers to what you're looking for. Thank you for watching. If you feel that this information is useful to one of your colleagues or a friend of yours, please feel free to share these videos, share the, uh, the address of the channel so to grow this community. And if you need more information about security videos or if you are studying for your uh, security certifications, go through my channel so you're going to find a lot of useful information. Thanks for watching again, and I'll talk to you on the next video.